Hello and welcome to this first session on microcontrollers and system on chip. So what's a microcontroller? So microcontroller is a teeny tiny IC, something like this, which contains RAM, random access memory, ROM, uh, compared to your desktop, you can say hard disk, everything inside this one IC and you can program it too. Why do we need it? You might have uh, figured it out by now that the microcontroller is uh, efficient, power efficient and it lot more affordable. So you won't be using your regular desktop PC to make this arrangement. Suppose you have a motion detector and you want to control your garage door to be activated using this motion detector, you won't be using your regular desktop PC for this. It's make lot more sense if you use a microcontroller. Comparing the specs, the microcontrollers are mostly 8-bit. The 8-bit nature is, 8-bit uh, actually is more than sufficient for many of the industrial application as well. For example, uh, suppose you need to sense a temperature and send it to our internet, an 8-bit computer, 8-bit microcontroller is quite capable. Although the 16-bit is uh, is again used in by industry and mostly the audio processors like mp3 player, uh, some older printers and graphic displays still use 16-bit microcontrollers. The 32-bits are uh, not very common. They are again used by industries, not by project enthusiasts. The 32-bit microcontrollers are widely replaced by SBCs. That brings us SOC or SBC. So what is an SOC? So SOC is everything what microcontroller has minus RAM and ROM. For example, this is a very popular SBC, single board computer. So let me show you. So this entire board is an SBC, single board computer and this IC here is known as SOC, system on chip. This contains every peripheral which a computer motherboard requires minus RAM and ROM. So where are RAM and ROM? Let me flip this. So you can see this is my ROM and this is RAM. It's a 1GB RAM and 8GB ROM I'm using for my Raspberry Pi and they kept outside the SBC. So this brings us to the end of this first session and let me quickly revise it for you. So let me come back to this diagram only so it's easy for me to side by side compare. So this is a microcontroller which contains all peripherals, programming peripherals, RAM, ROM inside one single IC and this is an SBC which contains a microcontroller like IC minus RAM and ROM. So this is very versatile, you can use it for graphical displays, you can connect it to a HDMI monitor, VGA monitor and do lot many, lot more applications, graphical applications, you can write programs in uh, high level programming language such as python ruby whereas here you are limited to assembly or c type programming languages only so more about these we will see in our later sessions so that's all about this session see you in next video